morning, everybody. We're in Mauston, Wisconsin. I pick up our load just down the street here, and we're gonna head home. This quick trip truck stop is one of my favorites. I mentioned this last night. If you guys watched yesterday's video, if you didn't, it's gonna pop up at the top corner of your screen there in a minute. You can click there. It'll take you right to yesterday's video. That way you don't gotta go searching for it. Also, you can find all my videos in my playlists. I have several playlists all set up now on my channel. Uh, they were taken down for uh, for a couple of weeks there, but we got them all back up. Hopefully they're all in the proper order because there's, well, I think we're on vlog 2700 now here since we started counting. And then there's some pre-TJV vlogs there and there's also a prehistoric section there from when I first started making videos. Super cringy. You don't want to miss it. Go to my playlist section on my channel and check out the prehistoric videos. I know there's a bunch in there that aren't visible right now. That's me. I'm sorting through them all. Uh, but there's there's a couple there from when I first started making videos in 2011. It's cringy. It's painful to watch, but I think you'll enjoy them. I think that might be one of my trailers. We'll see. I'm going to go in and uh, figure things out. So I parked out on the street there. I wasn't sure where they wanted me. Turns out they want me right here by this tree. Right up against the grass. Kind of figured that's where they were going to want me. Sneak myself up there. They're going to throw the trailers on my trailer. Tie them down. We'll be off. one of them I'm gonna fit two of these on here surprise surprise look who we ran into again right. snuck up on me I cut up with you yeah where are you going I'm going to walk the shop oh, okay right next to us Walking. Yeah. Pick up a load there. No. Deliver one. Make one drop there tomorrow morning. Okay. And head out to Hobart, Indiana. Make the last drop and head out to Devonport. Pick up a load to go home. Oh wow. I'm going home now. So just loaded up these trailers here. Tied them all down. Took all day to get them on there. There was a problem with them and they had to seal them up or something. They had to fix something on them before they loaded them. Yeah. Oh, so that's why they uh, they took all day to. Uh, yeah. Get it ready. Yeah. That's my dad. If you guys are new to the channel, well, hello everybody. <laughs> Good to meet up finally once again with Trucker Josh. Eh? I meet mean, up all over the place. Last time we met up on the road was in uh, Mooseman, Saskatchewan. Yeah. That's right. I was going to go to Pilot, but then I saw on the, on Google that yeah. I, have, I have special connection, you know. <laughs> I saw, oh, oh, he's sitting here, so I better quickly come say hello. Yeah, I forgot there was a pilot across the street. Yeah. I like this stop here. It's always one of my favorite stores. They have all kinds of goodies. Yeah. They got pretty good prices too. Fruits and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Always nice running into dad and familiar faces out on the road. <laughs> we cross paths quite often. I guess pretty soon I'm going to be. Uh, Running into my father-in-law as well. He started working here now too. He's getting into a truck next week, I think. He's finished orientation and training. Pretty sure he is. A nice light load for you, old blue. You've been working hard the past couple of weeks. You deserve a nice little break like this. Nice light load. All right, all right, all right. Time to go home! Time to go home! I could make it home in one shot from here. We'd be entering the yard at about 4 a.m. We'll see how ambitious I feel. I'll probably go up to like Fargo or something. We'll see. Have you noticed a bit of a difference in the quality and the sharpness of the picture in the last couple of days on my vlogs here? I've been using my Hero 8. 
This up here is my GoPro Hero 10. I've been using it for my silent trucker series just to keep the footage separate. It's much easier for me at the end of the day than to split it up, right? So we will be getting, uh, for the silent trucker series, I'm gonna be getting a, a 360 camera eventually. I don't know when. Oh, see how much they cost when I get home. I'd love to have one on top of the truck here somewhere. And it's a camera that I can like, you can see all the way around. It's hard to explain, I can like move it. And as I'm driving, I can move the camera around or it moves itself around or it's filming in all directions at once. And later on, I can edit it and move it. I don't even know how it works really. All I know is I'm, I need to get some new equipment. Uh, see if we can make that a little bit more interesting, different views. Put another camera like back here somewhere so you can see me from behind while I'm driving. And yeah, just something to give the silent trucker a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost. See if we can keep that going. And my vlogs here, like I've been saying, are gonna continue like normal, but I've been using my GoPro Hero 8, which I believe has a crisper picture than my Hero 10. Weird, right? Because the 10 is two generations newer, yet the Hero 8 has a better picture and it has better night quality. Anyway, so I think on my next camera, my upgrades will probably go with Hero 8 again. Hate to say it, unless if like the 11 will, uh, are they just gonna keep like numbering them going up and up? Like one day we'll be at like the GoPro 163. <laughs> Who knows, say? Eh? All right, boys and girls, strap in. Turn on the CB radio. Still haven't heard anybody on it. Maybe it's broken. Let's go. Let's go. Go home. Nice day cap. Nice. So you know me, home is at the end of the day. I might just drive straight through to four in the morning. I told Britt already, I might get to the shop at like four in the morning and just sleep there so I don't wake her up. Or I might just sleep at the yard. I got a decent sleep tonight, so I might just do it. I'll have the hours on my US hours of service to get up to the Canadian border. And once I get to the Canadian border, I'm on Canadian hours of service, which has more hours. So I can keep going even further. They all got their signals on, right? Awesome. Everybody's using their turn signals. You guys are the best. Oh, come on. Apparently I'm not the best. Can't find them, grind them. I'll admit, I, uh, if I'm not paying attention, you'll see it from time to time. I hate when I miss a shift like that, especially on camera. You guys are supposed to think I'm perfect. Now you know I'm just a normal, everyday, regular human being that makes mistakes. I hate to break it to you. I was hoping you'd never find out, but here we are. Trucker Josh is just a normal human. You thought I was an alien. I know. Don't blame you, look at me. Pulled into the rest area at Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Headed, uh, what is this, north or is it? I guess it would be I-94 westbound, right? But we're sort of headed north right now, but it's gonna loop over to the west. Gonna go through Minneapolis. 
But first, it's been about a half hour. I've logged myself into the log here as doing a load check. So let's uh, make an honest man out of me, all right? Let's go check the load. Okay, so what we do now is we make sure all of our straps are still tight. First, I do a walk around, just grabbing the straps. Right, let's try that. This stop was a lot longer than I wanted it to be. We're at 29 minutes that we've been here now. May as well just stay for another minute and it'll be 30 minute break. Why not? We're so close already. Then we get another eight hours before we have to, have to, have to stop again. Though I'm gonna be stopping again soon because we uh, redid some of the straps on the trailer. I'm gonna have to stop in another half hour and check those. A lot of stopping and I want to go home but the thing is I want to get home with these trailers still on top of my trailer in good condition perfect condition pristine condi so there's a lot more than just rushing home you gotta actually you know take care of stuff on the way come on 30 minutes 30 minutes woo all right let's go just hit 30 minutes 30 minute load check jeez that's what I think of that. Why is that guy on the truck side? <laughs> it's confusing to some people, I guess. You know, the signs aren't big enough. Trucks this way, cars that way. You always get a few cars that go this way. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's get out there, come on. Nobody else get in my way, nothing. Nothing get in my way, stay out of my way. I don't know what I'm trying to say, just hey, hey. You have a yield. That's okay, he beat me. It's okay. As they say. Hee hee! As they say. Time to go, as they say. Hammer down, as they say. I'll shut up now, as they say. You see, this is a perfectly good example of how it's not always something that would make me upset when people are in the fuel pumps. I don't think I'm holding anybody up. So I'll be honest, it's late at night, I came here to the Stay Mart in North Dakota to pick up some snacks because I'm still trucking into the night. I'm trying to get home. Let's see if we make it. And I parked here and went inside and got a coffee. I'll be honest with you. I think I'm okay. You see, we were talking about this yesterday. What upsets me is when people park in the pumps or block the pumps when it's busy. I've seen those comments in my vlogs before where, uh, you know, I'm complaining, obviously, because that's what I do complaining about people parking in the pumps and then I see the comments, but Trucker Josh, you park in the pumps. You're a hypocrite. Yeah, you're right. I park in the pumps sometimes. Only in these conditions. Look, there's one other guy here now. One other guy. All right. Sue me. Please don't. Please don't. I don't want to do the paperwork. See, he's, he's just going inside too. 
not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. He's not holding anybody up. Enough yapping. Let's go home. See if I can make it home tonight yet. It's going to be really late, or should I say really early. But we have the hours, so... If hours of service says we can go, let's go. And we made it home. We've got a busy weekend ahead. Uh, wedding on Saturday. We have uh, some more fertility appointments and ultrasound stuff on Sunday. Uh, we'll get back to that yet. Uh, we want to talk more about what's going on with you guys to keep you guys up to date with how that journey is going. Uh, but uh, we're not quite there yet, but we'll be filling you guys in soon. Anyways, thanks for watching today. Uh, next week, we're going to be headed back into Ontario to Ear Falls, back down into Minnesota and Iowa. And uh, we're going to try to keep ourselves busy. Got to make some money. Also, another thing I wanted to let you guys know, I'll be talking about this in the beginning of tomorrow's video probably too, because not everybody watches to the end here. Uh, the Silent Trucker series, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. I'm happy with uh, uh, how you how the reception of it, I guess. There's enough of you out there that are interested in that kind of silent video. Maybe some... ASMR, I think that's what it's called. I got those letters mixed up at first, didn't I? I think I called it ADSM or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's supposed to be the Silent Trucker series, just the sounds of the highway, the sounds of the truck. <clears throat> we might add some music over it there just to liven it up a little bit in the future. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to move those onto a new channel that I created called The Silent Trucker, TJV. I'll leave a link to it below my videos from now on if you guys want to go check it out. That's also going to serve as a backup channel that's not connected to this channel. So, you know, with the circumstances and the instance or the incident that happened about a month ago or so where my channel got hijacked for a little while, we got it back and got it secured. If that happens, this channel will serve as a backup where you can find me there. Uh, then I can still get a hold of you guys. So it's like a backup account, but my silent videos will be posted there. So if you guys want to subscribe to me there just so that you can find me if this one were to suddenly disappear for whatever reason, not expecting it to, uh, you can go subscribe over there as well. And if you like those videos, then yeah, definitely go over there, subscribe. I'm running a few channels now. I've got my TJV gaming channel. Uh, the links are all down below in the description. Uh, I, I don't do much gaming because I don't have a lot of time anymore for that, but when I do, it goes on to that channel for the people who like that stuff. The Silent Trucker will have its own channel, and this channel will stay focused just on my vlog series for the most part. And for the comment reviews, I'm thinking I'm probably going to start doing those in live streams instead of uh, like a pre-recorded video. I think that would make a little bit more sense, separates it from my regular content, just so that people who subscribe to my vlogs here, they want to see my vlogs, they don't have to be you know flooded with all this other content that's completely different. I'm going to sort of keep it all separated like that. And... Uh, We'll see what the other channel evolves into. For now, I'm going to keep it, uh, you know, just the sounds of the highway, sounds of the world around, the, the story of my life through picture, video, and audio. And uh, see how I can, uh, you know, drag out my creativity for that. We'll see if I can make something of it. If you guys do like those videos, go down below to the description. Uh, it's called The Silent Trucker, and hyphen TJV. That's the name of the channel. The picture of Old Blue as the profile picture. You'll see it there. I don't have any subscribers there yet, so if you guys want to go over there, like I said before, it's a nice backup account as well, just in case if something happens here. And I can, you can find me over there. So without repeating myself over and over, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.